there folks, how are you? It's lovely to see you again as usual. So thank you very much for popping over just to check out this wee recipe and I hope that I find you very well indeed. This is one of our favourite desserts, apple crumble. But this time I'm going to do it in the slow cooker and I'm going to add some caramel as well just to give it that wee bit something extra. All of the ingredients that I'm using along with their weights you will find in the show more box underneath this video. But just before I move on, I wanted to say a massive thank you to the supporters of the channel over on Patreon. So thanks once again, guys. It is very much appreciated. So we're just going to get right into it and I'll show you what I've done. This is done in a three and a half litre crock pot and will serve between four and five people quite generously. So the first thing you want to do is get your apples peeled. I'm using Granny Smith's and these ones are quite small. So I've used 15 of these. Use whatever apples you like. You know, you can use cooking apples if you prefer, but sometimes they're quite tart. So I like to use eating apples. So this took me about two weeks to do. So I'm going to, to cut the video down a wee bit, <laughs> that's them peeled. And once they're peeled, you just want to chop them up quite thickly. Just make sure you get rid of your apple core. If you've got a corer, obviously use that. I don't have one, so I just used a knife. So this is them all sliced up. You do want them quite thick because you don't want them going all mushy. So grab your slow cooker and set that to high. You just want to dump your apples in. And then on top of that, you're going to want a 400 gram of, you know, ready-made caramel, whatever brand you like. And we're just going to use four tablespoons of this. Pop it on top and then put a wee shake of cinnamon on top of that and just give the whole thing a good stir around. Just make sure all your apples are coated in that lovely caramel. Then you can set that aside for the time being. And now we're going to make the crumble and that's it. So grab yourself a mixing bowl and dump in your flour, followed by your very, very cold butter. I had this in the freezer and it's just going to make it easier you know, to work your butter into your flour. So you want to work the butter into the flour. This will take you a few minutes and you're looking for a sort of breadcrumb type texture. Just like this, it'll be nice and golden. That's just the butter that's done that. You can use salted or unsalted, it's up to you. And then you're going to add your sugar, whatever brown sugar you like, followed by your porridge oats and then your cinnamon and nutmeg. Just give that a good stir till everything is well combined. And that's your crumble done. Like I said, this is super simple. So grab your apples again and then just pop your half of your crumble mixture on and then give, you know, give it a good shake just to get everything down to the bottom. And then you can pour the rest of your crumble on and then the rest of your caramel and that's it. I like to pop a tea towel underneath my slow cooker lid. This is just going to help absorb some of that condensation and it won't go all mushy. So that's just what I do. That's, that's a good wee tip there, actually. So leave this on high for three hours and then come back and that's it. And this was me three hours later. You can see all the condensation under the lid there. Just remove your tea towel and you'll be left with something that looks like this. And it's absolutely glorious. Not for you, like I said over on Instagram, if you're watching your calories, because this is very naughty, obviously, with your caramel and your sugar. But oh my goodness, the smell in this house was absolutely insane. And you can see your apples there. They've still held their shape, but they are beautifully soft. And the cinnamon and oh, my goodness, amazing wee dessert. And I've just served this with some ready-made warmed custard, but you can use cream or whatever you like or just have it on its own. So like I said, ultra simple. It doesn't get much easier than this. So if you do like your apple crumbles, I would urge you to give this a go. All I would say is obviously it's not as crunchy as doing it in the oven, but you know, it, there's just no faff involved. And if you're busy, you can just dump everything, you know, just dump everything in, walk away and leave it and come back and you've got yourself a beautiful family autumn dessert perfect for this time of year uh, things are starting to get cold now i was out for my morning walk this morning at the seafront and it was absolutely freezing in fact my feet are still cold i'm not long back <laughs> so thank you very much for popping over to check out this wee recipe and i'll be back probably tomorrow 
for the shop and haul and then back on Sunday for meals of the week. And don't forget, if you've entered that Degusta box giveaway, I'll be announcing the winner of that on Sunday at the end of meals of the week. So remember to check back for that if you've entered. But whenever you choose to join me again, hopefully I'll see you back here on What's For Tea off soon. So until then, take care of yourselves and bye for now. Bye now.